Hey, 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 welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and today is Wednesday, which means we are going to cash stuff. Um, but first, I wanted to talk to you about Etsy advent calendars. Um, now, if there's a little bit of disjointedness in this video, it's because I completely forgot until the end of the video to talk about this. And then when I did talk about it, I got myself so muddled up that I don't feel like it really made sense. So I'm going to try again and I'll put it at the start of the video. Um, so for advent calendars, I will be looking to list them at the end of this month, probably on the 30th of September. I will confirm the date and the time that they are going up on both my Instagram and on here before that date. I'll give you an exact time, an exact date, um, so that you're ready to go. Um, but it will be around the 30th of September. I will then look to get them all shipped by mid-November so that you guys have them ready to go on the 1st of December. Um, so having said that, the poll on my Instagram was that most people wanted a 24 day advent calendar, which I totally understand because that's what I would want to. Um, but also most people only wanted to spend like 40 to $50. Obviously I can't do much with 40 to $50 over 24 items. Like that's, yeah, that's not really going to work very well. I'm not going to be able to give you like that's averaging $2 an item. I can't, I can't give you much for that. Um, so what I'm going to do is to kind of try and cover off everybody from all, um, budgets I will have a cheaper 12 day um, advent calendar. So that will go up. The price will be somewhere between 40 and $50 plus postage. Um, I will have an option for both advent boxes for add-ons for dice because some of the challenges in there will require dice. So if you already have them, you just don't add them on. If you don't have them, add them on, it'll be an extra few dollars. Um, that was the best way I could think of to Make sure that everyone has what they need to do the challenges, but also not be sending people stuff and charging people for stuff that they already have. Like I know a lot of you have already shopped in my store, which means a lot of you already have these kind of dice or these kind of dice. So I, yeah, I don't want to be sending out, <laughs> but I will list what sort of dice you'll need to complete the challenges. Anything that I am custom making for challenges, like if I'm custom making like coin flips or anything like that, they will come with it regardless. So having said that, um, yeah, I will have a 12-day tw option that is in that $40 to $50 price range plus post. Then I will have, and I've been really on the fence about this because my original plan was to have two 12-day boxes and have one of them at a higher price point so I can put cooler stuff in there, like bigger, bigger stuff, bigger challenges, more involved challenges, and a lower price point so that I've got everybody covered. And then I was going to say, if you want a 24 day advent calendar, you buy both and I will turn it into a 24 day calendar and you'll get a bonus gift. So it'll be a 25, like you'll get a day zero kind of thing, if that makes sense, or a day 25. I'm not sure which way you're supposed to do that. Um, so that was my original plan. I am now a little bit concerned about said plan because it occurred to me that the people opening the 24 day ones if they're opening them on their channel or on their instagram will be spoiling it for people who only got a 12 day one so the people who only got a 12 day one will be able to see ahead of time some of the challenges that they're getting if that makes sense like they still won't know what they are on which day because i'll kind of randomize it a little bit um but yeah i don't love that so i think what i'm going to do instead is have that cheaper 12 day option and then a completely different 24 day option. I think that's what I'm going to do. So the 24 day option will obviously be a bit more expensive. It will be in the realm of probably $90 plus post somewhere around there. Um, but obviously you will get many more challenges um, and they will also be like more challenges that are more involved. So more scratch offs, more challenges that require a dice, um, that sort of thing, more challenges that are maybe not just one page sort of thing. I hope that that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think down below, um, sort of, I guess, what your preference would be. But just so that you know, the, that's roughly what the prices will be. 
Um, if I do, I don't, yeah, I just, I don't want it to get too expensive um, either, either way, if that makes sense. Um, in any event, either way, if I do the, if I do the two different 12 boxes, if you buy both of them, it'll probably wind up being a hundred dollars. So it'll be the price point. If you want the 24 day situation <laughs> will be similar regardless. It's just that the challenges will be different. So if I do that, a separate 24 day one, and then the 12 day one, what's in this one won't be repeated in this one. So you could in theory comfortably buy both and not get any double ups. Um, it does mean that I have a lot of challenges to create because nothing in either of these boxes will be anything that's appeared in my store before. So everything will be an original challenge. Nothing will be anything that I've sold previously. However, please don't panic by <laughs> thinking that you're going to miss out. All of the challenges that are in the boxes will be available in my store at some point. Like ideally, I would like to do them probably as a New Year's Day release. Um, I might do like a little Boxing Day sale and then release everything new on New Year's Day or something like that. Um, yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> so they will go up in my store. So please, I just don't want anyone. It's really, really tricky when you are making things for a budgeting community because I fully understand um, that everyone is trying to save money. That's the whole point. Um, so I don't want anyone stretching their budget or spending money they don't have because they feel like they're going to miss out. So there is an exclusivity thing with the Christmas boxes. However, what is in there will eventually pop up in budget budgets, maybe not all at the same time. It might be spread out over a few months, depending on how busy I am and how organized I can be, um, but they will appear. So please don't worry. Uh, the number of boxes going up initially will be limited. Obviously, I can only order so many supplies. I only have so much time. There's only one of me, although my 14-year-old daughter is super keen to help out. Like, I, I thought I'll just have her doing some basic things. Like, I'm such a perfectionist that I don't, I don't think it would be good for our mother-daughter relationship for her to help out too much. <laughs> Um, but she will, she can certainly help me pop some stickers, like the number stickers on and things like that. So, um, but it is just me. So it will be a limited release. If I get to, you know, if I get into October slash November and I go, oh, Hey, I've got heaps more product here than I've already sold, or I've got plenty of time to make some more. I will list more. I will do a second release in October or in November. Um, that will be kind of for immediate post, but that's an, that's an if guys, it's not a guarantee. Um, so I will do my best to put up as many as I can so that they don't sell out. I honestly don't know what the demand for this kind of product is like. Um, so I have, I have no idea, um, but I will do my very, very best, guys. Please just keep in mind this is the first time I've ever run an advent calendar. It's very intimidating. I will have a lot of designing to do um, and a lot of making to do. And also there is still a backlog of people who are after envelopes and things that I don't currently have listed in the store. Also, I'm trying to do a budget planner, so um, bear with me. We will get there. We will get there. Um, what else in regards to the store? Uh, most of the crystal binders are on their way out. I've got a few more to go. They're going out in order of that which they were purchased. I do have two crystal binders um, that are going to be listed soon as like not quite right binders. So they'll be slightly discounted. Um, I will show them on the channel before I list them. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just whilst I was trying to work out the settings on my new printer, I have printed out and laminated these ones, but after looking at them for a while, I wasn't happy with the colors because they were so different to what I had produced originally. They are true colors to what I see on the screen, but they aren't true colors to, to the picture that I listed on Etsy. So I played around with all of my settings and I have fixed it. Um, and the ones that are going out now are true to color as to what was listed on Etsy. Um, but I do have those two. So I think it's I think there's a one 5K one and one two and a half K one that I will list for sale. It's just that the colors are slightly less pastel and slightly more earthy. So I will um, pop those up in a video before I list them on Etsy and let you guys know when they're going up. There is just one of each and it will just be first in best dressed. I'm sorry. Um, 
yeah, so I think that's all for today. Let's go back to regular scheduled programming. I hope you enjoy today's cash stuffing and I will talk to you guys soon. Yeah, it'll be pretty ordinary cash stuffing this week. Nothing exciting, no bonus money, unfortunately. Um, we are stuffing 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 410. So let's put that like that. Those like that. I've got two old fives in here, you guys. They just keep popping up in my little rotation. <laughs> I'm just holding on to them. <laughs> I really like them. Um, <laughs> so I hope you are all having a beautiful week. The weather here today is incredible. It's going to be 20 degrees. I'm so excited um, to like, mind you, I still have a jumper on now because it's freezing in our house. Um, I've just finished writing an email <laughs> to our property manager to see if maybe we can reduce that rent increase a little bit. So I'll be waiting to hear back from them. Um, yeah, I, like I said in my other video, I understand it has to go up a little bit, but um, I'm hoping maybe they can kind of meet us in the middle a little bit maybe um but we will see how we go okay so this week the water is getting 20 uh, and i have got our i have got our water bill it's not due till the end of the month uh but i think it was like 230 so i've already got enough in here to cover that so that's nice Love that. So this now has 220, 40, and 60 in there. Beautiful. And then electricity is getting uh, 50, but I'm going to give it that 100 and take 50 out just because I was a bit low on notes. And you guys, I'm not sure what I'm going to do moving forward because my bank branch that I use to get notes out, to get cash out, is um, closed. They've closed down for renovations. Uh, so I don't know whether or not the ATM and the change machine is going to stay while they're doing renovations. It kind of maybe seems like it's not going to, uh, which is going to make my life very difficult. So I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to manage that. Uh, so electricity now has in it 120, 130, and I have just paid that bill. Uh, so that's nice. We like that. Um, that bill had the $75 credit from the federal government in it as well, um, which is why it was a bit lower too. So that was a nice little bonus. Um, I think we get that every quarter um, for this like 12 months, whatever it is. Okay, gas has got 60, so that's got 50, 100, 110, and 120 in there now. Um, but as I said, hopefully that will slow down a little bit because on days like this, we don't have to have the heater on at all. Um, so, uh, phones is getting its regular 30. And my husband's phone actually due for a recharge, which I didn't realize. I thought his wasn't due until like December. Um, but no, it's due like now. So which is kind of good because they're putting their prices up again. They only just put them up. They're putting them up again in, uh, I think it's October. So I'll recharge him for the whole year. So he'll have a year on the cheaper prices, which is actually really handy. So that now has 200, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 25 in there. So his recharge will cost, I think it's 320 for the 12 months. So that's good. Uh, home is getting skipped. Security, no, security is not getting skipped. Security is getting its five. It's regular $5. Um, I do think I am going to have to amp this up a little bit before the end of the year because I have to double check how much the subscription is, um, but they put that up too. So that's got 50, 70, 80, and 90. I think my son's just gone behind a cloud, so I hope it's not too dark now. Uh, and then garden's getting five. Oh my goodness, you guys. Garden. Garden, garden, garden. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were going to go on the weekend to get a new whippersnipper, 
Um, and then we didn't because Harvey didn't feel like going out to um, Bunnings to get it. So we waited. But on that day, he decided to mow the lawn, which we haven't done for a good few weeks because it's been so wet here and our lawn gets really sodden. We live right near a creek. Um, so we're kind of still kind of in the creek bed kind of zone where our house is. So our grass gets really, really sodden when it rains and it's not got very good drainage. So we've kind of been waiting till we had a few nice days in a row. So Javi goes out to mow the lawn and the lawnmower died. And I honestly just can't believe it. Like, why? 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 Um, so <laughs> I jumped online. I've ordered from Bunnings a new lawnmower and a new whippersnipper. Um, and it's free delivery, so it should come this week. But that was $288. We have 110 120 in here now. So I'm going to have to pull the rest of it. I think I'm going to take out what I have in home, uh, what I have in appliances, which isn't much, and what I have in buffer. And then I think I'll still be $100 short. So that is going to come from our mojo, like our account buffer, uh, which kind of sucks. But I mean, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't want to put it on the credit card. Um, and yeah, I don't want to take it out of any other categories, really. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I'm going to be able to cash flow it. Um, I'll see. But with the rent increase and everything, like that just doesn't feel all that thing. And I all that doable, I should say. Um, and I also want to take my son out on the weekend. I think, um, sorry, I'm just going to check. I'm still recording. Um, I think that I will probably take him and his older sister out to see, uh, a movie. Um, but I'm not sure, but obviously that's going to be pricey and I'll have to cash flow that cause I don't have any money left in his birthday envelope. So um, yeah, so that was really, really annoying. Just hubby was like, and he's like a, a quarter of the way through the lawn. So our lawn looks completely ridiculous because it just has like this section that's done and then the rest of it's all really, really grassy. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Not much. It just literally up and down. We have an electric um, lawnmower and yeah, it just, just conked out. <laughs> Um, which I mean, like, is fair enough. It's pretty old and it was cheap to begin with. Like we only buy cheap ones. Um, we're not big green thumbs. Like we're not big gardening people. We'll maintain what's there, but, um, yeah, it's not a big deal to us. So, um, yeah. So insurance got its regular 30. So it now has 20, 40, 50 and 60 in there. I have to say I was watching Jillian, but is it Jillian budgets? Her channel, I think. Oh, I don't know. I'll link it down below. Um, she did a video on all of the different savings challenges that she does. So she does, um, I think she calls it sink to save. Um, so she doesn't really do regular cash stuffings like this. She just funds all of her sinking funds, um, with savings challenges, which I think is so cool. Um, so car registration got its 20. It now has 120, 40, 65. Um, and I'm totally like, oh my God, I should do that. I should just do everything in savings challenges because it would be so much fun. But also, I don't I don't know that I would be able to keep track well enough. Um, car service is getting its 10 um, to do that. Like, I don't think my brain's responsible enough. <laughs> I think I need this consistency. Um, so car service now has 120, 30, 40, 55. 155 in there. So that's getting there. Um, yeah, I think I need this consistency to make sure that everything's getting kind of what it needs to be getting, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if I can color one off. This has 20, 30, 40, no, 45. We'll wait until there's another five in there. But it does seem like a lot of fun. It does seem like a very fun way to do it. Uh, license is getting five, so that's 120, 30, 40 in there. Slowly making progress on this one. Oh, sorry guys, I just got the itchiest nose. Whew. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Give me one sec. Okay, a dozen sneezes later, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so that is everything in the car binder. Moving right along. Um, Life Finder's not getting very much. 
Uh, hair is going to get five because my son definitely still needs... Oh, I can't really color that off. I need to make them fives. Um, my son still desperately needs a haircut. He's just not keen. He hates getting his haircut. Uh, skincare is getting five. Um, yeah, he doesn't like anything about it. I think it's just a bit of a sensory nightmare for him. And he doesn't like that they talk to him. <laughs> 10, 15, 20. He also doesn't like that he gets, like, his friends will rib him every time he gets a haircut. But, like, I mean, it's not like a haircut's going to look worse than his current overgrown situation, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't get teenage boys. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so five into all work expenses. Just topping that up a little bit for when hubby has to go in. So that now has 20. I need a comp to come through and condense this all over again. Uh, and that's everything there. So, yeah, I think Mojo is going to drop down to $400 in there. What I will do with that is just top it back up with the Roundup fund because that will get to $100 at some point. Like, it's not, a, it's not a rush to top it back up. It's no big deal. Okay, so Doctors is getting another 10 I'm going to try and build this back up. I haven't been back to the physio. I didn't go back last week because my little girl was sick. I've not gone this week either. Uh, so that has 200, 300, and 20 in there, um, which feels a little bit naughty, but I keep forgetting to do the exercises. It just slips my mind, and then eek, I didn't get them done. So it feels silly to go back to him because he'll be like, how's the progress? And I'll be like, oh, there isn't any. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, medication's getting five, so there's ten in there now. Oops, can't pick it up. Uh, ambulance is getting skipped. Dental is getting ten. I really better book this in. So 200, 320, 30, 40. 340 in dental now. I'll just be really sad to see that money go. <laughs> uh, and optical is getting five, which I think, yep, gives us another 10. So we can color in that other eye. I can't remember what blue I used last time. Was it this one? Yeah, awesome. Yay. Okay, so that now has 20, 30, and 40 in there. My oldest daughter is definitely due for an eye check. Uh, she wears glasses. And skin check is also getting five. So that now has 50, 70, 80, and 90. Whoops, in there. Ugh, there's so many categories that I want to bump up. So many categories, so little money. <sighs> My children want a pay rise too. <laughs> My daughter's talking about um, going and doing like babysitting for people, but I'm so not keen. I'm so not keen on her being in strangers' houses and her putting her phone number out there for strangers to have and stuff. I just 110, 120 in school expenses now. Um, but yeah, I might try and give her a little bit more pocket money uh, if I can, especially if she's helping me more around the house, then I then I feel okay about it. If I can fit it into the budget. Um, but sometimes she kind of wants her cake and eat it too, which I suppose all kids do. Uh, 100, 150, 170, 180, 190 in school uniforms. So that's getting good. Um, like, you know, her friends all have a lot of, they all go out a lot and stuff. They don't have a lot of supervision. Um, their parents are busy. They're busy working and they have more money because both their parents work. But then meanwhile, I'm the one driving her and her friends around everywhere <laughs> and doing all those kinds of things because I'm not working full time. Um, and she still wants me to do that, but she also wants the extra money as if I am working full time, like her friend's parents are. Um, so I think sometimes it's difficult for her to understand that 
she can't just have the perks of what her friends have. Like if she wants that, then I'll be working full time. Then I can't be the person that's driving her and her friends around all the time, whenever they like. Uh, so 200, 220, 240, 245 in the vet fund. Which is getting good. Uh, on theme skipped, their flea and worm treatment is getting a 10 as per usual. So that has 50, 70, 90, 100, 110 in there, which means it must be just about time for that order to go through. So that one's on an auto recurring order. Whoops. For them. It's my youngest, um, it's like grandparents and they call it grandparents and special persons day now. It always used to just be grandparents day, but I think they've recognized that people having children older and older. And sometimes it's not always easy for grandparents to be available for that sort of thing. So it's grandparents and special friends day at school today. Um, and of course my daughter's grandparents, like my dad's interstate currently, uh, so he can't go and her grandma on her dad's side lives like two hours away in the country. So it's a bit hard for her to come as well. Uh, so $20 into family fun. Um, so my sister-in-law's going, I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Um, I think nothing else in here is getting anything today. She was so excited, um, my little girl. So I said to my sister-in-law, I'm really sorry because you're probably gonna be one very young person in a sea of um, many old people. <laughs> But that's okay. She doesn't mind. So, uh, oh, I actually don't think anything in here is getting anything today. It's not. I just need to steal the marker. Although, do I? Maybe not. No, I don't. I don't think I do because I changed the birthday trackers. <laughs> okay, so son's birthday is getting a five. What order did I do these in? Now I can't remember. We're due for a purple. Cute. Okay, so he's got 10 in there. And then this one is getting a five as well. Uh, well, she's not up to a purple. How have I managed that? No, she's not up to blue either. She's up to pink. Yay, so she now has 150, 160, 175 in there. She's already making plans. She's got such big plans for all the stuff she wants for her birthday. Her birthday's not till January. <laughs> like, we have Christmas first. Settle down. <laughs> one thing at a time. And five for this one as well. Beautiful. So that now has 50, 70, and 80 in there. Excellent. Everything else in there is being skipped for this week. And then I think we should have left 10, 20, 30, 40, and $50 for savings challenges. So I will see you guys on Friday for that. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week. Um, and I will see you on Friday for savings games. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.